923. We're excited to announce a new partnership between the San Antonio Zoo and Science with Sarah. That's right. They're going to be teaming up to bring you even more exciting science experiments and introduce you to some of the zoo's favorite friends. Sarah Spivey and our assistant, Mr. David Sears, join us now from the zoo with a special animal-themed experiment. Good morning, you two. Good morning, and again, yes, we are so excited about this sponsorship with the zoo because it is always a great day to visit the zoo, even if it's hot. There's a lot of wonderful things they've got going on here. We're going to be talking about that in a bit. It's zoo-rific. It's zoo-rific. It really is. And here's the thing. We had some kids for the zoo school come by, and they got to see this science experiment that we're going to do with you all at home and that your kids can do, too. We're thinking, you know, it's hot. It's hot, David. It's humid. So let's think cool. Let's think about how polar bears, walruses, whales, whales, walruses, whales keep warm, and they do so with blubber. And today, we're going to be making, you did not just eat raw Crisco. Blubber? Blubber, okay, today we are going to be making blubber. David is gonna experience what it's like to not have blubber by sticking his hand in this ice. Here's what you're gonna need at home. You're going to need a bucket of ice water. You're going to need Crisco or shortening. You know what this that is, tastes like? Tastes like nothing. Tastes like Crisco. Crisco. Uh, we are going. This is what the blubber is going to be. This uh, doesn't taste like blubber though. I did, have you ever tasted blubber? I hope not. Blubber. Okay. <laughs> And then we're, you'll need gloves and Ziploc bags too. So coming up, we're going to do this fun experiment at the zoo. But let me tell you, it has been so fun to even just be here this morning. It feels nice and, and decent in the shade. It's a little humid, but they've got a lot of ways to keep cool out here for sure. It's fun watching the animals. It is fun watching the animals. The flamingos are up early. They are. The monkeys are up early. They're already monkeying around. They are. <laughs> the and jaguar over there, that, that dude, he's napping. He's, he's like, napping. he sleeps all day. And there is an alligator look over that, here. There. I was just standing there a while ago, and then this, like, whoa, there's two of them in there. Oh, my goodness, yes. Yeah. So they're keeping cool in this pond, too. At first, David said, is that real? And we were like, yes, we're at the zoo. He hadn't moved. He hadn't moved since we've been here. We've been here, like, almost an hour, and he hadn't moved. David, are you ready? I'm ready. To experience. Let's do this. The ice bucket of pain, a new ice bucket challenge here. I have a glove. You're not gonna be able to use that. I don't get you, oh. No. Oh. All right, so coming up, we're gonna do this experiment live at the San Antonio Zoo. All right. And we'll talk a little bit about how the zoo, you can keep cool while visiting the zoo as well this summer. So and how they keep the that. animals cool. How they keep the animals cool too. Stick around it's for that, we'll be right terrific. back. everyone welcome back to a special edition of science with sarah we are so excited about our partnership with the san antonio zoo we are here live with kyle perez he's the director of public relations now kyle it's hot okay but it is always a great day to visit the zoo because you guys have a lot of things in place to help keep visitors cool oh. during this heat wave. Can you Absolutely. tell us a little about it? We have so many new things here. We've redeveloped the zoo and reimagined it with over $80 million since 2014. So every time you come, there's something new to see. We just got meerkats. We have jaguars walking over your heads, but also there's misters. There's indoor <laughs> activities. So there's plenty of things that you can do here at the zoo where you're not hot, you're not miserable, but also if you pay for a day, you get a whole year free. So you don't have to just be here for the, eight hours. Right. Wow. You could be here for two hours. You could be here for one hour. Enjoy it, get your walk in, and then come back for zoo boo, zoo lights, and everything we have all year long. So Science with Sarah, we focus on going to schools and teaching kids some science projects, and she pulls out some really interesting ones. The zoo is focused on family and a lot of kids. How has that grown, and how important is that to keep cultivating the, the next generation? Oh, yeah, that's absolutely what's our most important thing here, education and conservation. If we teach the next generation to be good stewards of our planet and about nature and actually enjoying these magnificent creatures that maybe don't have a home anymore, that's why zoos exist, because we are giving them a great infrastructure for a future and if we teach our children that they'll love it too so bring your kids out because there is so much interaction here you can feed a flamingo you can <laughs> feed a giraffe you can get in there and pet some kangaroos so really it's amazing to see these things up close and personal absolutely Kyle we have had such a fun time being here even just this morning for the zoo and we're thinking cool so we're gonna do a science experiment about blubber yes. thank you thank Kyle you. of right. course we'll see, you soon. Right. see you in a bit okay so let's 
get down to the experiment. We are going to make blubber. Now, David is not going to get any blubber today, unfortunately, because David is going to be our science control. We're going to see how long he can last with his hand in the ice water with no, with, gloves? With no blubber. So first, I'm going to make my blubber package. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few scoops of this Crisco or the shortening. I'm going to put it here in this Ziploc bag, and I am going to make a little package of blubber here. I'm gonna surround my hand with this blubber so that I can protect it from the cold. This is the way, David, that animals like walruses, whales, things like that keep warm Me? in that ice cold water. Because what a lot of people don't realize is the ocean, especially deep down, is mm -hmm. pretty cold. So this is my blubber package. All right. That's kind of actually what it looks like. You can see all that fat around uh, the, my hand there. This is vegetable fat, so no animals were harmed in the making of this experiment. Let's do this. Are you ready, David? Ready. Okay, you stick you your hand in. Time. I've got the timer here. Here we go. Three, Three two, one. For, I found that for me, it was right around the 32nd mark that I started to experience some pretty intense pain from the ice. But I'm not feeling anything, David. I am not feeling anything. I'm feeling cold. So you are. Oh my goodness. How long did you go? I, I found that at 30 seconds, uh, I couldn't do it anymore without, without the ice, without the blubber rather. Whoa. Meanwhile, take a look at mine here. You can see it's totally protected from the ice. There's no issue there. David, you've made it about 35 seconds. How you feeling, bud? It's cold. Yeah. At about four o'clock this afternoon, I wish I had this bucket, but not now. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry, you got no blubber around your oh, hand, no. man. No blubber. I'm kind of blubberless anyway, you know. You are, you are, but I, th I, bet, wish, I bet you wish now you had a little uh, blubber. Uh, <laughs> am I doing this for a reason? No, you can take your hand out at okay, any one time. Minute, that's good. Okay, uh. <laughs> he made it a minute. Meanwhile, I honestly, my hand is actually a little hot here because of how that blubber protected us. And, you, so, and you're fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. No so cold on your hand. Kids can do this experiment uh, at home and you can test out other things that act as insulators. Uh, Cotton balls, uh, some cardboard shredded up, that kind of stuff. Good job, David. I'm proud of you. Oh, don't uh, you break it. Oh, well, at least it didn't shatter. Okay, again, we are so excited about this sponsor sponsorship and partnership with the San Antonio Zoo. We hope you'll join us in the school year ahead. We're going to have more with the zoo a little bit later this month. So way to go, David. It's Congrats. zoo -rific. It's zoo -rific. Back to you guys.